And we're back again guys welcome back to the channel it's good to have you guys back and today we're going to be making another beat okay okay um and i'm going to be using this new pack by producer Maika, the afro rhythm drum kit um trust me you know as a people that you do not just disappoint you you know you know this pack comes with like 10 loops with the um stems as the drum loops, also melody loops, about 10 of them too, I guess. They have some nice ones shot. So, I'm going to be making a beat today using this kit and trust me, I know it's going to turn out super fire. Alright, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video also and share this video. So, let's do something at 104. Let me check out if I can get like a precaution from here. Or let's just listen to the full drum loops and select something. Hmm. Oh, I like five. I like that. Oh, this is nice too. I um, will make this Ctrl Z Shift M and I'll drag this back beat then. Alright, so um we selected a few of the sounds from this kit, like this conga loop, this percussion loop, and um this guitar loop here also, all from the kit. So I'm going to go ahead and let me try and figure out the chord progression of this particular melody loop and um, probably build a more chords and melodies around this loop. Okay, so I have this brass idea in my head. I'm going to go ahead and load contacts and use the session horns for this one. Or not to waste too much time, let's use Nexus first, then I'll add the session, um, session horns rather. Alright, so um, I've added the brass. I used a preset from Nexus um, called the Sax and Bed. I don't know where the pack it came from, but I just have this search section here. And also Contact, I use Session Horns Pro to because it, it's more realistic. Then I turned off this other one first. I'm just trying to balance. So I'm just trying to balance and all I might still add one or two notes. Yeah, that's that. So I guess I should render this out. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to 
the Afro Rhythm Pack by producer Marika. I'm select some one shots to add to this beat. Why did I open my eyes like that? <laughs> Yo, anyways, I really want to apologize about the last videos. I realized that I just get carried away by the whole process and I forget to show you guys what presets I'm using and um, what sounds I'm selecting to use. So sometimes I just get carried away by the process and I just want to just make the beat so that I don't lose that inspiration. Well, here I am in the Afro Radium Park by Prince America and I'm about to select some sounds from there. I like that. So I think this simple kick pattern would do justice to to this beat. So let's listen to what we have so far. We have our drums that are playing this. All the sounds are from the Afro Rhythm drum kit by Micah. Then we have this guitar. And I added um, this piano with, with the... Then I added this piano top line melody. So I might have to layer that with some other nice sounds in the future. Then next, I added this brass. I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out the bass I'm going to use for this. I'll try using bass or 808. Whichever works fine is what we're going to use. We've gone ahead to um, lay in the bass and um, this is what we came up with. I'm going to go ahead and convert this audio to MIDI and um, try to use a VST guitar and add more spice to this guitar loop already so by doing that i'm going to solo this guitar then go to my mixer channel on the master channel then load up melodyne and i want to hit this transfer button then click play So then I successfully converted the audio to MIDI for me. I'm going to go ahead and save this MIDI information. Save as MIDI. I should just save it as untitled. Save. Yes, replace it. Then I'll delete Melodyne from my master channel. And all I need to do is just load up um, like a guitar plugin. Let's, let's load up Contact. And I'll load um, Evolution Jazz Act Up. Then all you want to do is just go and locate that um, MIDI file. 
and load it back up. So Control M should open a MIDI file and open Untitled. I just drag it to the start, then I quantize. Then while we wait for this guitar to completely load, we'll have a listen. So it's never really a hundred percent correct, but trust me, it's between ninety-five to ninety-nine percent most of the times. Yes. So let's listen alongside the original. guys so i've added um the midi guitar made it so much interesting i've added some guitar licks here also so i played that and i just converted it to audio and worked on it all right so this is what we have so far So I got the role from my missed Afropi drum kit, link in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and um, mix and um, structure this beat. Then I'll show you guys what I've done so far. All right, guys, so I've gone ahead to mix and arrange this beat. So I'll just break down what I did for you guys. So I started off with this guitar. Like we all know, it has radio effects on it. So I started with this guitar and the percussion. Then I added this funny flute. Let me play this flute for you. He's actually following this piano, actually. So that's that. So we started like this. So I added um, more reverb to this, to that sound, added more reverb to it. They will landed into the chorus and we have the kick, the snare, conga, percussion, and this is what it sounds like. So back to the verse one, let it breathe. Like I said, you want to leave enough space for the artist. So we have just this guitar loop, perk, kicks, and the snares. So for this filtered pack, I added shaper box on top of it, a ton of the parameters I didn't want. Then I used fab filter to cut off the highs and I'm um, left just this portion of the whole frequency and stuff playing. I just wanted to create variation or so the pre-chorus.
So I added this um, vocal from Xeola. I had to delete the plugin because of the save CPU. So this is what it sounds like. I just added a bunch of reverb and EQ. EQ, I think is in a radio effect again and all. Back to our verse two. That's basically everything in the beats, just repeats itself. So let me just go through my mixing process. Nothing serious, just really, really all about levels. I have, I start with my kick, then I balance every other thing around the kick because I want the kick to punch through the mix. Normally I would have created a drum boss and just parallel compress my drums only so that the whole drums could punch through the mix, but um, there was no need for that. I just made everything fine anyways. So we have our instruments. That's what it sound like. There's enough space, I pan these two. One to the left, one to the right, the guitars. Nothing serious on my instrument, basically EQ. And um, most of the EQs are actually creative EQs, not even for mixing and all. It's just part of the sound design. Yeah, basically EQ, like I said, it's not really part of the mixing, it's more of the sound design process. In our drums, we have this. So I'm just select holding control shift to select, then I'm pressing S to solo. Seriously, not, nothing, nothing really special here also. Just make sure you pick good sounds and I mean, you won't have to do much on the mixer. All right, guys, there you have it. We're done with this beat. Shout out to producer Micah for sending this pack through. The pack is super fire. Link in the description below. So do out here to copy for yourself. And I'm also getting ready for Shiloh 2021. And I hope you're getting ready too for all the Christians in, on my channel. I can't wait for this year's Shiloh. I know it's going to be exceptional, different from last year's one. I'm fully hoping for the best. I'm expectant, and you should be expectant too. So, um, Thank you guys for coming through. See you guys in another video and bye.